Ah, Halloween. This is... <laughs> doing a Halloween walk. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Halloween video. Something like that. Whatever, just show okay? the clip, just show the clip. So, we're here today with the one and only Mad-Eye Moody. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Are you mad? No, I'm not. My eye is. Hello, Miss Comley. Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. So, you look like an evil pumpkin, are you? Uh, maybe a good pumpkin. No, All right, a jack-o'-lantern. Jack yes. They're the friendly ones. Yeah. So, what is your costume? Well, actually, funny story. It all started out with just, you know, like a random costume. And then um, we decided, since no one knows what it is, we're just going to be like, oh, okay, guess what it is. So what are you? So a lot of people ask me, am I Don Cherry? Am I Mr. Hannaford, headmaster of Settlement Hill? I'm none of those things. I'm a Scottish headmaster. This is what we wear every day back in Scotland, every day. And he, he looks. Me. He looks good enough to eat that. <laughs> yummy. Okay. We're holy cows. Uh, I actually aimed this to be an airsoft uniform, so I have to wear all this stuff to protect myself from like BBs that are coming at me. But I also thought it would be a cool Halloween costume, so I decided to wear it for Halloween. Basically what I'm wearing is an Assassin's Creed outfit for the third game based on uh, Connor's costume basically. So uh, when did you last see Harry? But I also thought it would uh, be a cool Halloween costume. When? So I... 19. 19 years ago. 19 years ago. That was about it. So you're Harry Potter. How do you like Hogwarts? I think that in some ways LCC is like Hogwarts with the houses and the house cup and everything anyways. So I tried to describe it that way, so it might as well kind of fit, fit the bill a little bit. You are from Toy Story? Yes, I'm Woody. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Oh, we all have one. Your biggest fear? Wow, chaos is my biggest fear. I saw you, your debut in the uh, Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. And um, are you still in contact with Hogwarts? I'm not, because as a matter of fact, I'm kind of dead. What's your favorite Halloween candy, guys? Swedish Fish. <laughs> Mars Bar. Smarties. Coffee Crisp. The little ones. I really like Snickers chocolate bars. My favorite Halloween candy is whatever these are. Lollipops. Okay, made from like rocket candy. Alright, and you, I'm guessing, is Lay's Chips. Good for you. All I have to say is uh, Halloween, good time. Candy? Good time. Costumes, good time. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween, guys. Thank you. Happy Halloween. I'm gonna be able to raise my mark this term. Mm, yeah, parent-teacher interviews are coming up and my parents are gonna be so mad. Ugh, my science mark is terrible. Hmm, it'd be a real shame if something were to happen to one of the science teachers.
I don't know what they're thinking. They, they better be careful. Yeah, this needs to stop because if it doesn't, something bad's gonna happen. Big problems for everybody included. You know, you two seem like the kind of people that would like LCC Reads. Why would I ever do LCC Reads? Well, because you get to choose the book that LCC reads next year. Wow, sounds interesting. Personally, I recommend The Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Ew, boring. I suggest this book. It's the harrowing tale of a canine in search of his purpose in life. Right, well, uh, you know what? Come to LCC Reads and we'll talk about it, right? Uh, anyway, we have a clip to show you what it's all about. Let's see it. Welcome to LCC, Miss Alfarenka. I will always write back in this year's LCC Red Selection. We're really fascinated with your story. So can you share with us, are you still in touch with Mr. Ganda? I am. He actually lives in New York City, and I don't live too far from New York. Um, and I actually call him my brother, so... Um, we get to see each other like once or twice a month. Um, what makes you and Mr. Ganda's relationship last for so many years? Um, I definitely think that because we were such good friends and we just wanted to know more about each other and each other's lives. Mm -hmm. um, and we cared about what each other had to say. So that definitely helped keep our friendship strong for years. So what would be the influence that Mr. Ganda make? the difference to you? He made a huge difference on my life. He made me think more globally, made me think less about myself and more about others. And I definitely believe that because I had the opportunity to learn about his culture and different cultures around the world, that uh, it was easier for my husband and I to have a relationship because I was able to be open-minded to his culture as well. What would be your suggestions to LCC students regard to a better understanding of other countries and other parts of the world? Oh, my suggestion would definitely be to think outside of the box and outside of the bubble that you live in and read more about other countries, places that you don't know anything about. Um, ask students around you that you know about their cultures or how they celebrate or what they do that might be different about, um, than how you live. Is there anything else you would like to say to LCC students? Well, I just want to thank you all so much for having me here. It's truly an honor and a pleasure to be here and speak with you all. And just to remember that kindness is contagious, and you guys have the ability to change this world and make it a beautiful, beautiful world. Thank you very much. This is Joyce reporting from LCC TV. ASMR drill. <laughs> Bag. <laughs> Thank you. Get it together, Jarrett. Okay, let's go. Stop. Wait. Slow it down a little bit. You know what? Why don't you slow it down a little bit, Vivian? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Halloween. This is... <laughs> and LCC is no different this year for Halloween. The... Oh, sorry, I... Understand <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> <laughs>